Hi friends, welcome back to Trend Tech. And today we are going to learn about how to install any software using PowerShell. So everybody knows uh, we can double click on exe file and run it and install it. But then how to install it from in PowerShell is a very easy task. And uh, this is very useful for someone who is in an IT team who would like to install in multiple servers the same software. So to use that one, uh, so it will reduce the time and as well as the efforts of a person. So let's go and dig into it and how to install the PowerShell, how to install the software using PowerShell. Okay, I am in PowerShell right now. And uh, for an example, I have already downloaded a Notepad++ and I have kept it in my one of the location. So this is my location, okay? I have already downloaded one of the exe file over here. You can able to see in my screen. So first, we, what do we need to do is that we just need to navigate to that location. How to navigate to that location using PowerShell is just like in command uh, command you just type like i have pasted it in d drive so first i need to be in d drive d drive and after that what i need to do i need to go to that path or else uh, i will be in the d drive in the first step and second step what i need to do i need to be there in that path in which path till this path i am just taking this path and going to paste it over here in single quotation because there are spaces in between in the length of my uh, path. Okay, Good. after that, we are there in that location, right? What do we need to do? We need to install that uh, um, software. How to install that software? Just type start hyphen process. So this is the command which is useful for installation and you can see that how to use this path. So after that, what do we need to do? You can see as uh, we need to provide uh, you need to provide the file path and argument list or if you are going to install in uh, any of the servers, then you need to view the credentials. What happened? Uh, let me debug again and, and type over here. So uh, for now we are installing in one of in my local server. So for that one you have seen you need to give the file path. So I'm going to give the file path. File path is already over here. You can just select this one and paste it over here. Under that, I'm going to install Notepad++ exe file, okay? For everybody can able to install it. So now, if I click on this one, right? It will run, it will show in prompt like uh, whether you would like to install or not. See, so this is how it is going to show. So you need to select each and everything and you need to process all the things. Okay, it will, so it will, no, it will do like this. We just need to click next, next, next. Then, then there is no use of using in PowerShell. Instead, we can run it uh, manually. So I am just canceling it. So, what do we need to do? We need to run this PowerShell script in background. How to run this PowerShell script in background? For that one, we have an argument list. Okay, argument list, and we have one. Uh, comment like hyphen s just give uh, slash s sorry slash s so that it will run in a silent mode so now I am going to run this comment and it will install the PowerShell script I have all let me open my control panel and let me go to the program files now you can see there is no notepad plus plus in my control panel Okay, we are going to install it now. So this is the proof and it will install in background in a silent mode. Okay, I'm going to select this line and or else 
uh, there is no need to select any line. I am I am just going to save this as um, power install software. Okay. Now I have installed the software. Now what this script will do first? it will go to the D drive and it will go to that location and it will install that one. For that one, let me trigger it, okay? For, for um, to trigger it, you just need to type F5 or else just run this one. Still we are facing some issue, what is that? Still we are getting something like you need to select and all. Mm, where we are missing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what we are missing is that we have given it as small s. It should be capital S. Okay, now I am going to trigger this one. And now you will see that uh, Microsoft uh, Notepad++ has been installed successfully without any other. Now let me go to the control panel. Okay. Now let me go to the control panel and you can see the Notepad++ plus plus has installed successfully. So we are good to install it and please do like, share, subscribe to Trintech for many more videos related to the PowerShell or automation or CSR development. Please do like, share, subscribe.